I got another question from Ron. He wanted to know about the Bo Diddley beat. And it's been a while, Ron. Sorry if it took time for me to get back to you. But in the meantime, be sure to ask about a Surf Zombie shirt. We got these new shirts that are pretty cool. All right, this is the Bo Diddley beat from Wikipedia. The Bo Diddley beat is a syncopated musical rhythm that is widely used in rock, rock and roll, and pop music. The beat is named after rhythm and blues musician Bo Diddley, who introduced and popularized the beat with the self titled uh, debut single Bo Diddley in 1955. The beat has been described as essentially the Afro-Cuban clave rhythm or based on the clave or a variation thereof. Music educator and author Michael Campbell explains that it shows a relationship between Afro-Cuban music, Americanized Latin rhythms, and rock rhythm. The beats are more active and complicated than a simple rock rhythm, but less complex than a real Afro-Cuban rhythm. The Bo Diddley beat is a variation on the 3-2 clave, one of the most common bell patterns found in Afro-Cuban music that has been traced to sub-Saharan African music traditions. It is also akin to the rhythmic pattern known as shave and a haircut two bits, shave and a haircut two bits, that has been linked to your you Yoruba drumming from West Africa, a folk tradition called hambone, a style used by street performers who play out the beat by slapping and patting their arms, legs, chest, and cheeks while chanting rhythms has also been suggested. According to musician and author Ned Sublett, in the context of the time and especially those maracas heard on the record Bo Diddley, has to be understood as a Latin-tinged record. A rejected cut recorded at the same session was titled only Rumba on the track sheets. Bo Diddley employed maracas, a percussion instrument used in Caribbean and Latin music, as a basic component of the sound. Jerome Green was the maraca player on Diddley's early records, initially using the instrument as more, a more portable alternative to a drum set. When asked how he began to use this rhythm, Bo Diddley gave many different accounts. In a 2005 interview with Rolling Stone magazine, he said that he came up with the beat after listening to gospel music in church when he was 12 years old. Cool. All right, I'm going to play it in a little in a little bit. But I have friends that have played backup musician with Bo Diddley himself, and they said, and Bo Diddley said, "Hey man, don't even mess with that. Don't play the Bo Diddley beat. I think he told the drummer that. Just play straight." So it's not really the drums doing it, according to uh, what Bo Diddley told my friends, but maybe more in the guitar. Let's just find out. So I did write it out. Um, it is a dotted eighth note tie, and then the next note is a sixteenth note, which is tied to an eighth note, followed by another eighth note, then an eighth note rest, one more eighth note, then a quarter note. I realize that makes no sense to some of us, or... You know, it's hard to visualize what that sounds like. So I wrote it in Guitar Pro uh, 7 hard uh, software, and I'm going to play it now. So <laughs> let's try it again. Two. I was adding too much. 
Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. Let's just do downs. Down, 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 down. Bop, 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 bop. That might be the easiest way to do it. And then you can maybe get more funky, you know, with like kind of working it a little more. So I probably play more notes than what was written, but it's kind of in the ballpark. Surf Zombies have a song called the PBR Strut that goes, we call it a Bo Diddley beat. We go. I think it's something you got to feel it first you know if we say down down up you know and all that it might be kind of weird down 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 so if you just tap it out bop 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 you'll have it one thing you can add to it is an a chord kind of like uh when Buddy Holly did not fade away, it's sort of like something like that. I think everybody probably gets it wrong. I don't really care, but that's kind of how I would play not fade away. E, 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 A, E. E, 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 A, E. I'm just rolling over my middle finger for the E or A. jam out on that and do you know different things but uh that's a good that's a really good beat and it's a nice variation of uh you know all your rhythms and so forth i do have this written out if you'd like a pdf please email me at hooverguitar at yahoo.com if you'd be better at reading it than my kind of uh sketchy explanation but uh it again i think it's something you kind of feel you know if you're on Let's say you're feeling you're in Bo Diddley's uh, backing group. You wouldn't get out. Oh, let's see, where's my tablature folder with the Bo Diddley beat? You know, you wouldn't be doing that on stage. You're just gonna feel that when he starts doing. You're there. You're gonna just start feeling that. So see if you can get it by feel. If you need it written out or just look at Wikipedia, you can see that uh, notation on the beat. And I think most of us will just feel that beat versus read it. But if you want to read it, I think that's cool too. So thanks for the great question, Ron. I appreciate you.